This is the solution to written homework 61. Okay, so f is a rational function, which means that its natural domain is everywhere the denominator is non-zero. So what we need is we need to solve uh, x plus 1. Plus one is equal to zero, which is to, which is to say that x is negative one, and therefore that's a zero. So the natural domain is anything except that. So negative infinity to negative one union negative one to infinity. So find any vertical asymptotes. Okay, because x equal to negative 1 is not in the domain because it's a 0 of the denominator. That might be a vertical asymptote. So we need to check x is negative 1. And the way you check that is we'll take f and we'll factor it. It factors into, in the numerator, x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 divided by x minus 1. So you can see that, uh, no, x plus 1. So you can see that there's no x plus 1 factor in the numerator to cancel that one out. And so therefore, this one does in fact cause a vertical asymptote. So the reason why is that the multiplicity in the numerator is 0, and the multiplicity in the denominator is 1, and this situation implies a vertical asymptote at x is negative 1. <coughs> so find <coughs> any horizontal or slant asymptotes. OK, so is there a horizontal asymptote? So is there a horizontal asymptote? And the answer is no. In order to have a horizontal asymptote, uh, it must be the case that the numerator and the denominator have the same degree, or the denominator has greater degree. Okay, so there is no horizontal asymptote. For those of you that memorize the, that silly Bobo Botten phrase, this is Botten B. O T N. Bigger on top means there's no horizontal asymptote. Okay, but but there might be a slant asymptote because uh, this is degree two over degree one. So is there a slant asymptote? And the answer is maybe we need to check. And the way we'll check that is by performing division. So negative 1 here, <coughs> and then the coefficients on the top row are 1, 0, and negative 4. So then we'll carry, and then multiply, add, multiply, add. So that's telling us, that's telling us that um, x squared minus 4 is equal to x plus 1 uh, multiplied by x minus 1 and then minus 3. So if we were to take this equation, this equation, and then divide by x plus 1, that would be telling us that x squared minus 4 divided by x plus 1 is x minus 1 and then minus 3 over x plus 1. <clears throat> so this is a linear part. This part's linear. A line. 
and it slopes up and looks something like that. And this part is hyperbola. So it looks something like like this. It has a vertical asymptote. So when you add these two together, this has a horizontal asymptote and that's a line. And when you add those two together, you will see a slant asymptote. Okay. So is there a slant a asymptote? Uh, the answer is yes. So therefore, the slant asymptote is the line y is equal to x minus 1 from here. Find the x-intercepts and y-intercepts. <clears throat> OK. So the x-intercept, algebraically, uh, this is when y is 0. So we want to solve uh, x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 divide by x plus 1 is equal to 0. Well, we have a fraction equal to 0. It must be the case that the numerator is 0. So that tells us that we have negative 2 and positive 2. Okay, and then the y-intercept that's when x is 0. So if we plug in x is 0, that's negative 4 over 1. So that's y is equal to negative 4. Okay, so let's plot all the points that we know and the slant asymptote. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, we know the point negative 2, 0, so that point. We know the point positive 2, 0, that point. And we know the point negative uh, 0, negative 4. So if that's 2, then that's about, that's about, uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so here. And then we also know that there is a slant asymptote. One, two, three, four, five. So the slant asymptote is y is x minus 1. So drawing that, we know that it goes through here and here and something like this. That's the slant asymptote. Of y is uh, x minus 1. We also know that there is a vertical asymptote at negative 1. So we've got this vertical asymptote here. So this graphite, the pencil color, is not the plot, it's just the asymptotes. So this is x is negative 1. <clears throat> so the slant the, the function is attracted to these asymptotes. And we can see these two points here. So that means that the function does the following. So it goes that way. that and from here this way and from here this way <clears throat> very interesting so that's the solution <coughs>